Bernard. How are you, buddy? Hello. Howdy. What are we working on? Hot oh, dogs. Hot dogs? Hot dog machine. What's wrong with it? Oh. Well, oh. I hope now not too much. All right, you fixed her up, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, we Let's kind of hope so. Yeah, you got to be able to have hot dogs when you bowl, right? Well, it's, sometimes they're a pretty good seller. It is. It's a good seller. What's wrong with it? Well, we had a wire that wasn't making contact, that's all. Mm -hmm. Well, it could go some more. No. But it ain't going to go a lot more in Vieira Center here if it does. But I don't think. Oh, just one second, let me see if we. That's awful close right there now, isn't it, huh? I don't think I can get that one. You've been busy today? No. Oh, no, not really. <coughs> yeah. It's a good day People. for it. Yeah. Rainy day, you know. But it wasn't busy, huh? No. <coughs> now, no. who's this gentleman? Gordon Ackley. Gordon Hello, Ackley. Gordon. I'm Gino. Do you know who I am? Yes. Do you ever Definitely. watch the channel? Oh, many, 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 many hours. What do you do out here, Gordon? <clears throat> he was the one that was taking care of it. He's the one that got me in here. You mean you used to own this place? No. Oh, but he no. kept it running. Oh, you kept it running, huh? Yeah. And what did you do? You you convinced him to come down and start running it instead of you? Well, <laughs> yeah. Father Time was getting to me, see. And oh, I see. I had I'd been retired for... For a few years. <clears throat> How old do you think he is? I don't know. 60? Thank you. Give me another 20. Uh, yeah. See if I got another quarter. <laughs> 81. I'll be 82 in May. Oh, boy. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna live to be at least 100. Well, my mother made it to 101 and a half, and she had our faculties. I mean, you know, she... Do you want to be 100? Well, if, like if, I, could, if I could maintain... Good. If I could maintain the level that I'm at at the present time, even though my legs aren't that good, but still, if I could maintain that level, I guess I'd be content to go on for another few years. So you talked to uh, Bernard to come, come well, down. Well, it started out that I, I uh, got him in here to take care of the machines, see, because I had to teach somebody, because <laughs> there's not very many people around that, you know, can take care of these machines. Without uh, are they that old? Well, it's, it's not. Yes, the machines are old, but it's just the idea that, uh, uh, you know, it's not a, there's like, for instance, there's five motors on every machine, all with relays and switches, and everything is all, is all timed in sequence. So, you know, it isn't something that, that just Joe Blow is going to come in and say, I can fix this right now, you know. Right. It's, so you brought him in for that reason, huh? That's, that's what it does. Uh, and the big box? Does big that box? have something to do with it? Big box? What no. big box? Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of knew it wasn't for the money, though. So you guys have been friends for a long time, well, basically. Five or six years. Yeah, five or six me. years. And he's, he told me last night that he, he's got a patent on a water pump, too, so yep. he must know engines. Oh, yes. Or, yeah, or oh, okay. actual mechanical right. things. Yeah. Uh, Myra had a, got another guy here one time, and I mean, I tried to teach him how to take care of them, and it was useless, you know. I mean, yeah. So now, now, you, now he's running the place. So he's, uh, yeah. He's he running. actually owns the place now, I hear. Right. Jeez. Right. Now, why? Can I ask why you decided to buy it rather than just run it? Well, it's uh, <laughs> to to be able to run it, you have to own it. Yeah. Because there's. I can't You're putting too much blood into it otherwise. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Myra didn't have the finances to even to buy the things that it needed to repair to keep it going. You know I what see. I'm saying? I see. So, I mean, uh, he was working gotcha. without anything, and she had control of the money. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, that wasn't just a good situation. Hey, how do you guys feel about, uh, you know, maybe turning it on and show, going back there and taking a look at some of the... We could oh. start there. How do you feel about no that? problem. No Sound problem. good? Sure. Let's go do that. You you can be part of it too. I mean, do you mind? No, absolutely not. Because he's he's, he's he was the one that did it. He started. He yeah. Hey, look at that, huh?
look at that place. Okay, we're ready. So now, when was this place built? Uh, I believe 57. 1957, huh? Yeah. And the tweet comes down and cleans any of the pins that was left on the table. On the plate. And when the pin setter comes up, this will eventually start another relay, which will push it. Now she's all ready to start another cycle again. Now do all these things work work pretty much the same? Yeah. They're all they're all working. They all work the same. See what you you don't care about that for your part, but see you got you got uh, uh, four relays in there, two hardwired ones and two plug-ins that work. Yeah. And you see them when this when this sweep came back by, it hits that little grounding switch right there. Yeah. And that that five cycles to each machine when you push the button. Five. five. Yeah. So now it was built in the fifties. Oh, the building was, but these machines were built in the thirties. Oh, they were. Mm. Now, what, where, what, why is a candle pin and not ten pin? Everybody likes well, candle pin better. They do. Yeah. Candle pins is uh, pretty popular in the eastern parts of the state, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Canada. Quite popular in Canada. Yeah. The only, but if the you only go bowling. west and south, it goes to 10 pins. Was there ever a 10 pin bowling alley here? Not in this area. No. Not right here. Okay. That was worth Cut bang. Cutler, okay. Cutler had one at the beach. Oh, they did, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now, how's that? Uh, but it's changed, right? Yeah. Business has changed since then. It's changed. What? No. Well, I mean, you don't. People don't bowl as often as they used to do. Well, they they are. They, it's increasing all the time. But but it was. This wasn't actually closed, but it was open for very minimum hours for several years. Oh, I see. So you know the clientele just kept disappearing, you know? Yeah, I see. Right. Yeah. The owner actually died and his wife took it over and at that point she run it on a minimal basis. Oh, I see. And you were running it at the time, Gordon, right? Well, you were I'm, the guy that kept it going. I was doing the machines. You were doing the machines. Right. And of course, when Nick was in the hospital, I, I ran it for him. I see. So now, what? how many people a day bowl here? I mean, it's out in the middle of nowhere, basically. Well, it's it pretty varies. difficult. When you have league night, there's uh, 30 people bowling. Okay. That's pretty good. There's five on a team, there's six How teams. How often do you both. have leagues? Well, we have uh, twice a week right now. Okay. Yeah. We have a women's league on Friday night and a men's league on Wednesday night. All oh, right. But but what, what about other, I mean, what time do you open in the morning? Well... I get up five o'clock and I live right here, so I open the doors at five o'clock. But well, where do you, where do you live? Right here. You live in the back here? Yeah. There's an apartment back yeah. here. Yeah. Oh wow. And uh, that's nice. That's convenient. Very. <laughs> I'm also a night watchman. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, so you so you're up at five in the morning. Sure. But what time do the doors open? Well, five o'clock. Oh my gosh. Do you actually get people in here at 5 in the morning? No. Well, not the bowl usually, but by 8 they start coming in. Schools come in at 8 o'clock and uh, they bowl. Oh, they do? They have a little yeah. bowling class and stuff like that? Well, yeah. They, there's a uh, one of the gym teachers in the Chias mm -hmm. High School brings in a class. Mm -hmm. Recreational program. Yep. Right. Yep. Once or twice a week. Yep. And uh, But right, right now we're trying to get ways to get the other schools interested in coming in. Sure. 
and uh, see if we can get schools pitted against schools for championships. Oh, that's a great idea. It would be, yes, because it would give them a chance to get a little academic in the bowl and get it into a school so that they could have it part of the program. This is, that's good. And so you're open till what time at night? Ten. Ten at night? Unless somebody's here. I've, I've had people here from the back till one o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh. And you'll keep it open? Oh, sure. I haven't got no place else to go.